like in the last problem we're going to go through and we're going to solve for the sum of all works done on this block as we pull it 10 meters along a horizontal surface. Now again, this surface has a coefficient of friction that is kinetic of 0.2. The difference between this problem and the last one is, this time we're going to pull on this block at an angle. So pull force is going to remain 30 newtons, but we're going to pull at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. So by pulling upward at an angle, that's going to affect the forces which are acting on the block. But again, just like before, we're going to need to go through and, and look at the entire free body diagram for this block so that we can figure out exactly what forces are doing how much work on the block. Now, because this force is acting upward at an angle, uh, we're going to have to go through and be a little bit careful in solving for Fn and Fr because Fn in this case is not equal to Fg. I don't want to get too far into this problem in, in this case. This is really something dealing with force. Today I'm worrying about work, so we'll just bank through this here. Okay, so we've gone through and solved for the magnitude of each of these forces acting on the block. And again, if you're confused on this, go back and, and take a look at some of the videos from force. So what we're doing is trying to solve for the work done by all four of these forces. It's the work by the pull force, plus the work by friction, plus the work by the normal force, plus the work by gravity. So we're gonna work out each of these works individually using our work equation, work is FD cosine theta. So looking at the pull force first, it's gonna be 30 newtons. It's gonna act over a displacement of 10 meters. And the angle between the force and the displacement is 30 degrees. So we have cosine 30. Now this works out to be 200 60 joules. The work by the friction force is going to be 16.6, that's the force, times the displacement of 10, times the cosine of the angle between the friction force backwards and the displacement forward. So that's 180 degrees. That's gonna give us a work done of negative 166 joules. Now our work by the normal force 84 times 10 times the cosine of 90, that's going to be zero. Remember, the normal force is straight upward. The displacement is horizontally forward, so that there's 90 degrees between them. And remember, the cosine of 90 is in fact zero. So this works out to be zero, and we see a similar issue with gravity. 98, displacement of 10, the cosine of 90, which is zero. So the total work or the sum of all works done on the block is equal to 260 minus 166 plus zero plus zero. So the sum of all works done on the block is 94 joules. And again, how this will be useful, we'll take a look at later on once we've solved for things like kinetic energy and potential energy, then this will be a little bit more useful. Right now, it's just a number. So for the moment, that's all for now.